What's going on everybody? It is Alex from Everything for iPod and today I'm doing an installation video on my uh, Hackintosh. Today I'm installing the Corsair H80 uh, liquid CPU cooler. I'm going to show you how to do it and just run you through what I'm going to be doing. So uh, the cooler is going to go right there and this radiator is going to mount on the back with some 120 millimeter fans right there. Um, so let's just jump straight into it. Again, this is my Hackintosh. If you missed any of the build videos, you can go check it out. I'll link the playlist to all of the videos down in the description. It is fully up and running, fully working. Um, and now I'm just upgrading some stuff in it, getting it how I like it. So I'm removing the stock CPU cooler that came with my Intel um, CPU. So uh, the first thing you need to do is remove your side panel and go ahead and remove the other one as well. All right, so we've got our um, side panel off, and you can see that my case has a cutout for the CPU mounting bracket right there. So if you don't have a cutout like this that exposes your motherboard on your case, you're going to need to actually remove your motherboard from the case. Luckily, I don't have to do that because I have that little panel, so um, I should be all good. So we need to remove the stock CPU cooler. It doesn't require any tools. You just pull the header out so the little connector from your motherboard, and now these pins just twist off, so um, there's little arrows on them that tell you which direction to twist it. Now the pins just pull out straight like that. And um, we've got our CPU right there, or our CPU fan with some dried up, uh, is that dried up? I don't know if this stuff dries. Anyway, we've got our uh, thermal paste on there still, and we're going to need to get the thermal paste off of the CPU before we put the new cooler on. All right, to get the uh, thermal compound off, I got some coffee filters. You're supposed to use like a cloth, a uh, lint-free cloth, but I don't have any of those, and I figured this will work better than getting lint in there because this isn't going to leave any lint. And you're also going to need something like rubbing alcohol. So um, I forgot who I saw on YouTube that said this uh, that coffee filters will work just fine, but um, somebody said they do, and I'm just going to go with that. So you just want to um, get it a little bit wet with your alcohol. You don't want too much for obvious reasons. We're, you know, touching electronics. But um, just I'm not going to take the CPU out of the socket and the board. But I'm just going to rub in circular motions here. And it comes off extremely easily. All right, and that's looking pretty good. So you can see the area where I did have the compound. And now it is all off, so we're good to go, and we can start installing the new one. Now, uh, the first thing you want to do is remove your back fan, because this is the radiator is going to occupy that area. And um, I actually already have, it came with two 120 millimeter fans. So I'm going to use those fans, and I'll probably throw this one, because I have an extra one um, on the front of my case, because I have an extra spot for a fan there. And I also have two extra spots on the top, for a fan and uh, one on the side besides that so I'm probably well I actually already got the fans and I will um, install them either tonight or tomorrow I don't think I'm gonna make a video on that because that's just real simple screwing in but anyway uh, just letting you know what I'm doing with my build alright so I've got all the screws out now I actually just want to uh, disconnect it from either your power supply if that's what you have it hooked up to or if you have it hooked up to the motherboard like I did just disconnect it and then uh, pull the cable through and just get the fan completely out. Alright, so now I'm going to put the uh, radiator in as well as one of the fans. So it's just I'm um, going to get it ready here. And uh, I'm just going to put one of the fans on for now. The other one will go on a little bit later once we did do some more steps. That's just going to make some extra room and make it a little easier to work with. So we have to make sure it's going the right way as well. So the label on the fan, on both of the fans, should be facing the front of the case. And that's basically going to push the air out, make sure it's um, flowing in the right direction. So we're going to line it up and just, uh, there'll be screw holes on your case. Um, we also want to use, make sure we use a screw and a washer on each of the screws that it comes with. So um, I'm just going to get all the washers prepared.
All right, so I've got the radiator fully installed with the 120 millimeter fan right there. Um, we still have our cooler hanging right here that we need to attach to our CPU. Um, and we still also have another 120 millimeter fan that has to go right here on this side of the radiator. I'm gonna save that part um, for a little while just so I, can, I have more room to work with with the CPU. And then after I have this installed, I'll go ahead and put the other fan on. So uh, let's go ahead and install this now. I'm gonna flip back to the other side of my case. And uh, you also may notice that I removed my graphics card. That is because um, it was easier to remove my old CPU fan. Forgot to tell you that. But uh, we see our holes here, one, two, three, and four, where our mounting bracket has to go. So we've got our mounting bracket here, um, and we just need to place it. And depending on your um, motherboard and your socket, uh, these screws are going to be slightly uh, a slight distance um, different. So you're going to need to, these uh, little screw holes here actually slide, so you have to slide it and uh, just figure out where the best position for the, these little screw um, sockets are so that they fit into your motherboard. All right, so I've got the mounting bracket in place right there that's gonna hold the um, cooler in place. Now we need to take these little guys right here um, and they go in the other side to hold this in place. So I'm going to need to spin this around and just hold this in place while I spin it. Right here, we've got one of these in already and we have to put them in the other holes right there. So you always, when screwing things in, in um, pretty much anything, you wanna make sure that First of all, you don't drop it, so I'm just going to set those aside so I can get a little better angle here. Um, but you want to make sure that you always go opposite corners. Alright, so I've got the uh, cooler right on the CPU there. I've also got the fan in the back as well as the radiator hooked up. Um, my camera can only record 20 minutes at a time, and for some reason it just cut out on me. Um, so I don't know where it actually cut out. Hopefully it wasn't too long ago, but I have everything pretty much hooked up. I've still got some wires dangling here, as you can see, and uh, I've also got to put one more fan on, which is this one right here. So I'm going to go ahead and just make sure I have my screws for it. Okay, so both fans are fully installed, so let me just go over what we have to do now. Um, we've got our 20 millimeter fan, which this cable is coming from, which needs to be hooked up. Our radiator right here with two tubes going into the cooler. Um, we've also got a, another fan connector right here from the 20 millimeter fan on the front that we need to connect. And also coming out of the cooler, we have a fan power connection that's going to go to our power supply as well as a uh, three pin connector that's going to go into our motherboard. The first thing I'm going to do is take these fan connectors for the 20 millimeter fans and there's actually spots to hook them into on the top here of the cooler uh, so you don't need too many different connections so I'm going to go connect them right now. Alright so the two fan connectors are coming, I actually wired them through the back of the case and they're coming straight into the top of the cooler right there. Uh, now we need to connect this cable right here to the motherboard on the CPU fan header. And then this cable right here is a uh, fan cable, and we're going to need to get a fan connector from our power supply up to there, so I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. It is now connected to the power supply. I'm all ready to go. Um, I've got both of the fans hooked up to the cooler, the cooler's hooked up to the CPU fan header, and also to the power supply. So everything's all set. Um, good to go. I've got everything done. I just need to go throw my RAM and my video card back in. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video, please drop it a like and uh, it really helps me out a lot. Also subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss out on anything and I will catch you in my next video.